Hello guys, I'm Yara and welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna show my calm but productive Sunday and I'm gonna varnish some paintings. I'm gonna show you how, how I varnish paintings and I'm gonna clean my art space and give it a new energy and a clean vibes. I'm gonna do some stuff that I have been procrastinating to do um, as is varnishing paintings and cleaning my art space because I don't know, I just procrastinate those two tasks all the time. I'm about to varnish on my balcony, as you see, and it is a sunny Sunday, so I have to put my paintings a little bit in the shade because it is no good to put paintings on the direct sunlight because the colors just fade well it would not fade um, within this short amount of time but still i like to handle my paintings well and with respect This is the spray varnish that I'm gonna use and it is very simple to use. A lot of times I procrastinate with these boring type of tasks and I don't do it for months at a time and it's just that big monster that grows inside my subconscious that I have to do it but I really don't want to and then one day when I finally get up and do, get up and do it it can be a very pleasurable experience and it is not even that bad actually it was kind of pleasant so yeah I don't know why I always procrastinate with some type of stuff because nothing is really boring if I have the energy to do it and after that I feel very good. So when I spray varnish my paintings outside I have to be very very careful. Uh, before that I really look for any type of stuff on them, there can't be dust or anything on them and then I have to just hang out for a bit until the paintings are dry to the touch, hang out around them because anything can happen outside, uh, the wind can blow out of nowhere or a bird can come and I don't know, take a crap on my paintings, I don't know what can happen um, I'm looking for little ants, for little other bugs that want to come on to my paintings or uh, come near them and I have to blow them away because that is no good nor for the bug nor for my paintings. I keep a list of my paintings uh, in this notebook and I'm also keeping track of which one is varnished and which one isn't. It is very hard to tell uh, when varnish is dry because I'm using matte varnish and it is almost undetectable with a naked eye. So yeah, I keep track of which one I have varnished and which ones I didn't. And I like to keep that organized. I had a little coffee here in the sun while I was waiting and being a guard to these drying paintings. It was kind of pleasant to sit outside with my paintings for a little bit 
and soak up these first warm sun rays of this year. At this point, I took a little break to have lunch with my partner and we had pho, I think it is. It's this Asian type of dish. He made it that day because he is an amazing cook and it was just delicious. I like how great it feels to eat something healthy and not be, you know, laying on a couch for an hour after the lunch is over because the food is not that healthy. After the break, I took some time and organized some stuff around my art space, uh, some stuff on my shelves that I were not keeping organized while, while I was working and here I am cleaning my shelves and my desk. This is also such a boring task for me to just put all the plants down from the shelf and then clean it and then put them all back up. I procrastinate with those tasks a lot, but when I do them, it is so nice and clean and such a good feeling that I really have to try to stop procrastinating on those little cleaning days. I have to clean my desk with my dry hand because it is the wood is not polished and I cannot really put anything wet on it um, so yeah I'm just putting down the dust and the little particles with my dry hands to make it clean and nice again another boring task is to clean my computer I used to hate doing that and now it is still kind of boring but it also feels so good to have a clean computer I paint around my computer and I do a lot of stuff on it and I sometimes spill something around it or you know the dirt just comes in and comes on it and it feels so good to have it clean again As you probably noticed before, I have a lot of plants. I'm a tropical plant collector and I just love house plants and really plants in general. And I like to keep them around me at all times in my environment where I work, where I sleep, where I spend my free time. Every Sunday I have a plant care day, which means that I go around, I water all my plants and I also check on them for any pests or any damage or whatever, whatever they need, I'm here for them on Sundays. And my favorite type is Anterium. I just love their big leaves and velvety or shiny nature. I also make seeds, um, I pollinate them across or self-pollinate them and I make these little seeds that I then get out of pulp otherwise they would rot and I then put them in a wet moss where they grow from seed and yeah and then eventually I put them in little cups and then in soil and yeah I just love that hobby I love anterium Eventually it's time to put everything back in place, every one of my paintings that are still with me, that are not sold, I put them back where they belong 
on my wall in my creative space. They give me a lot of inspiration while I work. I like to keep plants in my environment and I like to also keep my paintings in my environment. They bring me joy. My art studio is clean, it has a new clean energy and I'm all ready to create in it. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. It helps the algorithms and please subscribe if you are not already. I put vlogs out every week and I love doing them so much and I hope you enjoy it too. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell my paintings, my prints and my stickers and you can check out my Instagram for all the works in progress and behind the scenes shots. As a final touch, I'm lighting some incense and I like to go all around and just kind of clean up the energy once again uh, the final time. Yeah, that is it. I Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got inspiration on cleaning your art space or your space in general and just put in some new fresh energy. It feels so good and yeah. It is possible to have calming and productive Sunday all at once. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon in another video. Bye friends!